Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yogi, welcome to Daily Discipline number 289. This is take like four or five. It's just been going on so long. So this is going to be it, regardless if it is any good or not. So, hey, Rob Hall back here. Happy that you joined. Honored and humbled that you keep coming back. Um, it's a thirsty Thursday. It's a work day. It's time to get to work. Before we do, got a couple of PSAs. Today's Blake's birthday. Happy birthday, Blakey boy. Love you, buddy. It was great to see you last week. Um, I believe that today is something that your parents and I just talked about this exact subject that we're going to talk about today. You're one of my example points. Um, also another PSA is the Slender Man invited, uh, Slick Willie to watch a couple of these and Slick Willie, bro, you are welcome to stop by anytime. It's a pleasure to have you like fall reels. I believe you'll enjoy this as well. Uh, because I can't wait to see what you do next. And I know you're confident in your abilities. And now that you're controlling the narrative, big things. Big, big things. Can't wait. Um, all right. So here's the thought of the day. What's the second most important ability when we're trying to live our best life? It is having confidence in ourselves. Number one is dependability, availability, knowing that we're going to show up every single day. No one here, knowing that we will show up. Um, but the second one has to be confidence, that we have confidence in our abilities, that we have confidence in that what we're trying to do, that we will be successful. And so, um, again, we talked about Blakey Boy. Blakey Boy, uh, yeah, he, he made a life change a year ago, started it, and he's like a different person. You can tell by looking at him, he's the same guy, but he's not the same guy. The difference, confidence, looks people in the eye, has... Like he's just more confident, right? And um, yeah, I mean, seen a ton of time. Dirty King of the South, same thing 10 years ago. That guy is completely different, has completely changed his life. It comes with confidence. And you get to see, like, it's, it, it, I love how we get to see other people go through this metamorphosis. Um, and then sometimes we see them get stuck and they're like, oh my gosh, I, I, I can't do this. But are you kidding me? This is a piece of cake for you. You got it. That's where your your uh, network comes in. That that all of us encounter seasons, days, periods of time where we lose our confidence for whatever reason, and we need the people around us to be like, "You have this. Like, you, no, you got this. Just go." So, um, a couple other examples um, of confidence. You know, Uncle Buck and I talk about this all the time that as parents it's our responsibility to teach our children to be competent we teach them how to be competent is number one is we teach them to deal with their own head trash then we make sure that they're properly trained uh in life right that they know what they're doing so that when they walk up to a situation like i got this um there's a new show coming out it's called undercover billionaire Apparently the guy's a billionaire and so he's going undercover and his desk is he's got a hundred bucks, an old beat up pickup truck. He's supposed to make a million dollar business in 90 days. I'll bet on him. Had the exact, exact same conversation with KEI up in Chicago where he's like, look, man, I could lose all of this and I guarantee you I could get it back a lot quicker because now I know. What he knows is that he's capable. Like all of those times before, the younger version of himself, like, I don't know if I can do this. Now you know. Um... And a real good example is the golfer, David Duvall, who rose to prominence, reached his peak about the same time that young Tiger Woods was. He actually knocked Tiger off for a while and was the number one golfer in the world. And you could see the ascent, right? He went from not being able to win any tournaments, then all of a sudden he figured out how to win tournaments, and then he started winning major tournaments, became the number one golfer in the world. And then he had a really bad day at the, at the British Open, and I, this is like 20 years ago, and he's never been the same. He lost his confidence, and he can't get it back. As a matter of fact, it was so bad that uh, a month ago, he was back at the British Open and had like an 18 on hold. That's the kind of shit I do, right? But that's the difference. When he's confident, he was the number one golfer in the world. Now that he's lost his confidence, he's just like us, right? He's just like the rest of us going out there trying to play golf not confident like anything could happen so yeah it's just that simple right like you show up every day and you're confident you make it, you're halfway home with that i'm done for the day. hands up peace out we're better together i appreciate you stopping by uh rest in peace nick budakani 
Uh, played for the uh, Miami Dolphins, the last undefeated team. I saw where he passed away. He was really big on – he had a son uh, who was injured with uh, playing football. Uh, and so I saw where he died yesterday, and he uh, donated his brain to cancer or to uh, CTE research. So rest in peace. Uh, for the rest of us, I'll be back tomorrow for a Freaky Friday. Can't wait to see you then. Deuces. Bye.